okay for the pins basically we have three pins for connecting uh, blocks okay for connecting blocks and this one is the main one it has double head so you can use it like this just tilt a little bit when you inserting because the shape is not round and attach another block just like that it flush so you can put another blocks on top of it to pull it out just push the back side with your finger nails okay it holds quite strong but it still maintain to be free to lock it you just use two pin like this with quite strong actually I just realized that because I never test it like that and then we have the second one what I call this single head pin okay I use this mostly for wheels because it spin better and it holds better because the tips is a little bit uh, offset it's not flush see so it can hold a little bit better it also useful when you're trying to put pins between two blocks in a certain situation like this you don't want to open the whole frame you just need to insert the pin something like this there's going to be a condition like that and the last one is the long pin it's long it used to combine three stack three stacks of blocks okay just like that there is no four pin only until three there is also an addition pin when you're trying to put your uh, blocks to the wood so you can have your project attached like this it's quite useful I use it a lot you can put on a, a tree doors or any kind of wood you want and then we have the magnet pin you can use on any magnetic field the last one is for cardboard chip off it comes with the tools like this I use it like this I put the pin on the block first and then I push a little bit to the cardboard like this and then fasten it up then you can combine with cardboard and make amazing a lot of project and this one is actually not a pin what do you call this glass suction yes glass suction okay so if it's useful when you want to stick your blocks to the glass okay 